I'm Sharon Courtney, and we're talking to Dr. Tony Hu, the Weatherhead Presidential Chair at Tulane University, who's using applied engineering to develop a rapid test for COVID-19. How does your lab work with infectious diseases? We're actually working on a very different format compared to the many other uh, engineer groups. Uh, so in the field, uh, there's a pretty the common practice, and uh, the engineer team like to develop the highly sensitive uh, platforms for biomarker profiling. Uh, but the like of knowing better uh, about the the the, um, uh, the pathogen itself or the disease need or might need in the clinic, sometimes those uh, uh, the very novel sensors cannot be quickly translated to uh, the application. So uh, for us, and the, uh, whenever we try to set up the, the, the research project, and we like to understand thoroughly what's the need in the clinic for this diagnosis. Is there any particular case? The particular case in this group is the detection of tuberculosis, and which is another very serious global health issues, and it's affecting millions of uh, the tens of million people every year. And so, but the current gold standard can only cover 50 percent of them. And so, we actually the think out of the box and uh, uh, it's trying to identify the, some new markers in the blood. And using this blood-based test, we can cover much more populations in the world, uh, including the, the HIV-infected patients, uh, pediatrics, also infant patients, and also the, the patients with extra pulmonary TB infections, which is generally uh, the very difficult to, to be diagnosed using the current gold standard. Why is testing for this virus so important? Definitely, if the patient can be diagnosed earlier and the treatment could be easier for the for the patient for both patient and the doctors, and also the rapid test or the easy to operate test can also minimize the fear in society, right? And uh, uh, and also with the better diagnosis result, and uh, we will be able to know the uh, which patient should be isolated and uh, minimize the, the spread and of the, this virus. How do the screening test see or find a virus? So right now, the U.S. heavily rely on the nucleosid test, which is also not perfect. And based on the feedback from the clinic, we already see the, uh, a lot of uh, the false negative result. And so definitely, the, there is urgent need for new technologies or the new biomarkers to address the, the current situation. And as I noted, in the, some other countries, and uh, they combined a different uh, strategy, the, including the including the nucleosid test and also the CT scan, um, and uh, and some others. So this um, uh, is quite different, right? What is your lab doing to try to find a test? Well, uh, with better understanding about the, this uh, pathogen and this virus and the, how they uh, the functions or how they the interact with the human body. And uh, right now we're building up the, the multiple platforms. And the, for example, like uh, the how to early detect those virus. Uh, so in the human body fluid, uh, we also targeting on the nucleosid uh, biomarkers and we're developing the CRISPR-based technology, which is uh, hundreds of times more sensitive than the the current kit uh, provided by uh, US CDC. And um, uh, the second uh, method, we can really convert the, the current uh, platform for TB diagnosis to uh, thoroughly work to, to comprehensively diagnose this uh, coronavirus. And the third uh, solution is, uh, so no matter you use the nuclear acid, or uh, the antigens or antibodies, and the concentration of those biomarker is a concern. So if uh, the concentration is right uh, is quite low, and they will definitely trigger the issue in the clinic for um, false positive or false negative. So we're trying to identify the, some new biomarkers with greater diagnostic power. Research often takes decades. How long will it take you to develop a test? the CRISPR-based uh, technology, and now we're working on it, and uh, uh, it could be ready for 
clinical validation anytime. The second one, we like to starting from the uh, the nozzle swap, nozzle swap samples, and uh, it really depends on the one the sample could be available for us, and we can directly uh, start the technology development. And uh, the third one also rely on the biomarker discovery, and that could be take uh, the uh, at least one month to figure out the better solution. This isn't the last time you'll hear from us, and we want to know what questions you have. So please email us at medquestions at tulane.edu.